Hi, I'm Joy here with you today to talk about how to do a shell dip stitch. I am working on a scarf using the assigned pulling technique, which is where you change what stitch you're working on whenever you come to a certain pop of color. So for example, what I'm doing is I'm using a yarn that is basically gray and then every so often there's this pop of rainbow color in it. And I have decided to use the shell dip stitch to make my little assigned pooling stitch change. I found this stitch in Barbara Walker's book, A Second Treasury of Knitting Patterns. It is on page 108 and it's called the shell dip stitch. Now I'm going to show you how to work it. Here's a close up of what the shell dip stitches look like. I am working a scarf on a garter stitch background. And whenever I come to a color change in my yarn, then I change and start doing this dip stitch. My yarn, the color change is about 12 inches long, which is just about perfect for this dip stitch. Some other color changing yarns, the color is much shorter for six inches. So you just have to try it and see what works with your yarn. It may or may not work with all color pulling yarns. Here we go. Okay, my yarn is just now starting to change. And the way you work it is this, this one is done over six stitches. Sometimes I do it over five, depending if I'm on the edge or depending on how my color run is going. But usually I do it over six stitches. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. In the third stitch, which is approximately halfway through the six stitches, I'm gonna count three stitches over, and then I'm gonna go two ridges down, which would be basically four or five rows. I'm gonna put my needle in the third stitch over and two ridges down. I'm gonna put my right needle right through the work. I'm gonna wrap it as normal and pull up the loop. And there's my first dip stitch. Then I'm gonna knit stitch one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my right needle down through that same hole three stitches over, which is now two stitches over, and two ridges down, draw up a loop, and then knit the next stitch. So that's two dips. Same thing for the third. Go in, wrap, and pull up, knit the next stitch, so those are, I'm halfway done now. I'm done three dips. Four, same thing. Draw up a loop, knit the next one. Now in theory, you can do five and six the same exact way. However, it becomes a little more complicated because you are trying to move your right needle sort of backwards. And you can still do it and then knit the next stitch. But what I've been doing, because that tends to be a little bit awkward, is now I'm going in with my left needle and I find I need to wrap it twice to get it through there, draw up the loop and then transfer it back to the right needle and then knit the next stitch. So now I've done all my loops and now I have twice as many stitches as I need. So on the backside row, I'm going to decrease those extra stitches away. I'm going to knit across, finish this row and then come back. Okay, now I'm on the wrong side. I'm in a garter stitch fabric, so I've knit up to this point. But once I start doing these decreases, I'm actually going to purl because I like the way that looks better on the right side. And I have found that I like to reorient my stitches when I purl them. 
So I switch the first and second stitches, the order of them. And then when I purl them together, that put, puts the drawn up loop in the front and the regular knit stitch in the back. So you can see the drawn up loop better. So I take the second stitch and switch places with the first stitch and purl it. Purl those two together. I also sometimes reorder mine depending on what color is showing. So since I have a rainbow of colors here, sometimes they'll, they'll be two together in the same colorway and then it, or sometimes the colorway will change as it goes over the needle. So I will sometimes change it up a little bit. So depending on how I want the pairs to work out, so this one, I'm just going to purl it all by itself. I'm not going to decrease that one because I want the next two to purl together. And same thing now, because I've did that one extra stitch, I don't need to reorient them how I like it. And I just do purl two together across the back. And then once I'm done the color pull section, I go back to my garter stitch, take the yarn to the front, and knit the garter stitch. So on the back, this is what it looks like. And then when I turn it around, here I have all my drawn up loops laying how I like them across the fabric. And you can play with that when you do it. Try up plain purl two together and see what it looks like. And then try switching up your first and second stitches to see what that looks like whatever looks good for your particular yarn that you are using. And as long as you decrease away all those extra stitches. So that is the shell dip stitch. Have a good day.